a toxic substance is. Officially, it's, it's a, I suppose, a chemical that causes some kind of adverse effect. Might be in an animal, might be in a human. But the, the first step is just, is it hazardous? That's the first thing. And then how much of a risk something poses is a separate subject, depends on how much you're exposed to and so forth. The scientists are now finding that um, uh, every industrial chemical and pesticide that uh, is out there is quite capable of entering our bodies. The Centers for Disease Control has a program called Biomonitoring where they can now um, draw blood or sample urine and reveal up to 212 substances that are in our bodies. And the only reason that number is so small is that they need to develop reliable protocols for being able to identify substances. So this list is only going to grow over time. At the moment, the legal system permits most of these substances to come in without any testing for their toxicity, without knowing whether they cause cancer, birth defects, developmental effects, reproductive effects, and so forth. And the only way we're going to reduce those exposures is to require the testing of the products before they come into commerce. And if they appear to pose those kinds of problems, uh, they will need to be uh, not permitted in or somehow reformulated so that they don't pose uh, the same problems. What's happening with chemical contamination is that we are creating a world in which there are no clean controls against which to compare people that are contaminated. So we're all contaminated. It's a matter of more or less contamination and it's going to be increasingly difficult for the science to pick up some of these effects in humans. Animal studies thus become much more important.